Um, before tayo mag-start, uh, recall lang tayo related sa week 7 since continuation lang siya ng week 7. So yung um, discussion natin is uh, dun lang siya related sa y equals u plus b. So dito, need natin malaman yung function ng u at saka yung function ng v. For the function of u, ito yung complementary function natin. And for the function of b, ito naman yung particular integral natin or yung pi. So, yun. So, meron na tayo dito na yung y natin equals sa u plus b is also equivalent with your y equals cf, which is yung complementary function natin or yung function of u natin, plus yung pi natin, which is yung particular integral natin or yung function of b. And then last week for the week 7, diniscuss natin tong table na to. Um, pinakita natin kung paano ginamit yung letter A natin which is we have the f of x equals the A constant where we have the straightforward which is equal sa V equals K and yung snag natin na which is we have the V equals the KX. Ito naman ginagamit siya yung CF natin is nagkocontain ng constant. So pinakita natin siya for the problem number one and number two. For, to for tonight, um, i-discuss naman natin kung paano ginagamit yung letter B natin which is we have the F of X equals dun sa polynomial. Pol polynomial and for the straightforward we have yung v equals a plus bx and so on and magpapakita rin tayo ng problem na gagamitan naman natin ng exponential function or yung f of x natin equals an exponential function yung isang example nito is we have the f of x equals the a e raised to alpha x for the straightforward, kapag meron tayong case na straightforward, gagamitin natin yung V as equal siya sa K e raised to alpha X. And we also have the snug cases. Yung first natin na snug case is we have the V equals the KX e raised to alpha X. Ito is ginagamit siya kapag we have the E raised to alpha X na nag appear siya dun sa CF natin. And also we have yung second case naman for the snug case natin. We have the V equals the KX squared multiplied by the E raised to alpha X. So, ginagamit naman siya kapag yung um, E alpha X natin or E raised to alpha X natin and yung X E raised to alpha X natin is nag appear siya dun sa CF natin. And so on. So, ito yung mga iba pa natin diniscuss last week na iba pang mga formula based doon sa mismong given natin na problem. So, lahat naman nito is possible natin gamitin depende dun sa mismong problem na kailangan natin isolve para makuha yung value ng V natin. Okay, for the first problem for our week 8, first problem natin is work problems on differential equations of the form A second derivative plus B uh, first derivative plus cy equals the f of x where yung f of x natin is a constant or polynomial. So ito nga yung nandun sa table natin which is yung um, number palikan natin. Letter B which is yung polynomial. Okay. So proceed na tayo. For the sample problem 8.1. So solve the differential equation. We have 2 multiplied by the second derivative minus 11 multiplied by the first derivative plus 12y equals 3x minus 2. Okay, for the problem solving, ito na yung paano natin siya sinosolve. So ito daw yung problem natin. Yung first natin na step, same lang yun dun sa um, solution natin or yung step natin for the homogeneous, same lang na kailangan is Malaman muna natin kung ano yung B operator form natin and then susunod is kailangan natin malaman yung auxiliary equation which is yung gagamit tayo ng M. And after nun, kailangan natin siyang i-factor out. After natin i-factor out, kailangan natin ma-determine kung ano yung mismong value ng M, kung real ba siya, different ba siya yung value na makukuha natin. And doon natin makukuha yung value ng U. Then after natin kunin yung value ng U, saka natin kukunin yung value ng V. Okay. For this problem, so kukunin daw natin yung value ng D operator form. So lahat ng mga derivative natin is mapapalitan natin siya into D. So we have here for the first, uh, I mean for the second derivative, we have the 2D squared. And for the first derivative, we have the minus 11D plus yung 12 natin. And open and close parenthesis, Y equals dun sa 3X minus 2. And then after natin 
ma-determine yung the operator form. Papalitan naman natin siya into auxiliary equation where we need to uh, change the D into M. So we have here yung, yung D to D squared natin is magiging 2M and we have yung minus 11M plus 12 equals 0. And then after nun, after natin ma-determine yung value ng auxiliary equation, so ipa-factor out na natin. So pwede tayong gumamit dito ng um, quadratic depende sa problem natin. But for this problem, uh, pwede na natin siya ma-determine where we have the 2M minus 3 multiplied by the M minus 4. Then after nun, makukuha natin yung value which is we have the first is we have the M equals the 3 over 2 or we have the M equals 4. And then for this value, so pareho naman siya na um, real number pero magkaiba yung value natin. So we have 3 over 2 and yung um, value natin ng M natin na 4. And then we have here yung sa week 6 natin which is kinakategorize natin siya uh, diniscuss natin siya kung saan siya ang papasok na category. So, hahanapin nyo dun sa table natin before from week 6 natin na makakategorize natin siya na real and different yung number. So, ito na siya. So, we have yung y equals the a multiplied by the e raised to alpha x plus b multiplied by e raised to beta x. Wherein yung value natin ng alpha natin is yung 3 over 2. And for the value of the beta, we have the 4. Therefore, yung function natin or function ng u or yung cf natin is equal, is equal to a e raised to 3 over 2x plus b e raised to 4x. Save na tayo. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung value ng cf natin or yung function ng u natin. Dito naman is kukunin na natin based dun sa table para makuha natin yung value ng uh, yung sa V natin. Yan. So we have here, sabi natin is we have yung table kanina which is yung 51.1 letter B natin for the polynomial. So we have yung V equals the AX plus B. So dito is we have yung FX is equal sa 3X minus 2. And yung, yung value ng V natin is isa substitute natin siya doon sa given problem natin, which is we have yung 2D squared minus 11D plus 12 multiplied din sa V natin, then equal siya sa 3X minus 2. So, multiply natin siya sa lahat. So, we have here yung value ng V is mapapalitan siya na AX plus B. So, we have the 2x squared minus 11d plus 12x multiplied by the ax plus b equals sa 3x minus 2. And then itong ax plus b is imumultiply natin sa 2d squared, umultiply natin sa negative 11d, and imumultiply natin sa 12. So therefore, kukunin natin yung mismong derivative nito, which is kailangan natin malaman yung second derivative niya, and ito is for the first derivative. Since ang first derivative natin is a, so ang second derivative natin is 0. So we have here for the 2d squared minus, I mean, multiplied by the ax plus b, so we have the 0. And for the first derivative nito, so we have the 11a. And for dito naman, we have yung 12ax plus 12b. So hindi na natin siya derive equal sa 3x minus 2. And then, yung next step natin, kapag nakuha na natin yung second derivative and then yung first derivative natin, i-equate natin siya dun sa coefficient of x. So, dito sa, sa last natin na nasolve, alin ba dito yung meron tayong value ng x? So, we have here the positive 12ax and yung positive 3x natin. So we have here yung 12a equals na 3. Therefore, yung value natin ng a is equal sa 1 fourth. So 3 over 12 is 1 fourth. And then after nun, kapag nakuha na natin yung value niya based dun sa coefficient of x, mag equate naman tayo based sa constant term. So ano ba dito yung mga constant term natin? So we have yung negative 11a and we also have the plus positive 12b and yung negative 12 natin. So yung mismong uh, uh, 
uh, ito is meron, we have the 11A plus 12B equals sa negative 2. And then para makuha natin yung value ng B, since we also we already have the value of A, which is yung one, one fourth natin, isa substitute lang natin siya dito sa equation natin. So we have the negative 11A multiplied by 1 over 4 plus 12B equals negative 2. Then we also we have here the positive or 12B equals negative 2 plus 11 or 11 over 4. So therefore, we have yung value ng B, nat, ng B natin which is 1 over 16. So for the value natin ng PI, we have yung B equals the AX plus B where yung value natin ng A is 1 fourth. And yung value natin ng B is 1 over 16. So, sa, sa, sa substitute lang natin yung value ng A at saka yung B natin. So, ang value natin ng V is we have the 1 over 4X plus 1 over 16. Therefore, yung general solution natin for the Y equals U plus, B, plus V is equivalent to Y equals AE raised to 3 over 2X plus BE raised to 4X plus 1 fourth x plus 1 over 16. Okay, for, for the number two problem, so ang sample problem daw natin for the 8.2 is solve the differential equation which we have the second derivative minus 2 multiplied by the first derivative plus y equals 3e raised to 4x. Pero meron tayo dito na binigay na boundary condition na so we have here when x is equal to 0 and we also have y is equal to 0 and yung first derivative natin which is equivalent sa 4 over 1 third. 4 1 third. So for the solution, same lang din dun sa first problem natin wherein kailangan natin kunin yung d operator form natin and next is kukunin natin yung auxiliary equation magpa-factor out tayo, i-determine natin kung real number ba siya, kung equal ba yung number na M natin nakuha or different siya, and ikakategorize natin siya based doon sa nakuha natin kung anong value, and after nyan, kukunin na natin yung function of U or yung CF natin. For this problem, we have yung sa D operator form natin. We have the second derivative, which is D squared. First derivative natin, negative 2D, plus yung y natin which is yung 1 we have here open and close parentheses multiplied by y equals sa 3e raised to 4x and then after non so kukunin natin yung auxiliary which we have the m squared minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 and if a factor out natin so we have the m minus 1 and m minus 1 since yung tong mismo value natin ng m is same lang siya or equal lang siya. So dito siya, papasok na category where we have the y is equal to the open parenthesis, ax plus b, close parenthesis, multiplied by e raised to alpha x. And yung alpha na tinutukoy natin is yung value ng m natin. So isa substitute lang natin dito sa given equation natin. So therefore, yung cf natin or yung function of u natin is equal to Open parenthesis, AX plus P, close parenthesis, multiplied by the E raised to X. Okay, for, for the continuation of this problem, since nakuha na natin yung, yung mismong value ng U natin, kailangan naman natin malaman or madetermine yung value ng V natin. So, same lang din dun sa problem natin. Kailangan natin i-determine sa table. So we have here the V is equal to K E raised to 4X. Ito is galing lang din sa table natin or yung sa table 7.1. And then after nun, pag na-determine natin yung value ng V based sa table, ipapalitan lang natin dun sa equation yung V and gagawin natin siyang K E raised to 4X. Ito na yung mismong problem natin. We have the D squared minus 2D plus 1 multiplied by the K E raised to 4X is equal to 3e raised to 4x. And then, imumultiply natin itong k e raised to 4x sa d squared sa negative 2d and sa 1 natin. So, we have here d squared multiplied by k e raised to 4x minus 2d k e raised to 4x 
plus 1 multiplied by the KE raised to 4X is equal to 3E raised to 4X. Okay, for this problem, um, kailangan muna natin kunin yung first derivative and then kukunin natin yung second derivative. Ang first derivative natin ng KE squared is we have yung 4E, 4E raised to 4x. And then yung 4e raised to 4x natin na yun, yun yung imumultiply natin sa constant value natin ng 2. Kaya tayo nagkaroon dito ng negative 8ke raised to 4x. And then after nun, kapag nakuha na natin yung first derivative natin, which is we have the 4e raised to 4x, i-derive ulit natin siya para makuha naman natin yung second derivative natin. Yung second derivative natin is we have yung 16ke raised to 4x dahil meron tayong 4 times 4 is equal uh, 4 times 4 multiplied by the e raised to 4x natin. So we have here the 16ke raised to 4x minus 8ke raised to 4x and itong value na to is hindi na natin siya i-derive. Imumultiply lang natin siya into 1 kaya meron tayo ditong ke raised to 4x is equal to 3e raised to 4x. Then after nun, isi-simplify lang natin tung problem na to. Okay, so we have here the 9ke raised to 4x is equal to 3e raised to 4x. And para makuha natin itong k na to, so i-divide lang natin yung 3 over yung 9 natin. And ito is makakancel na yung e raised to 4x natin. So ang value ng k natin is 1 over 3 or 1 third. Therefore, yung value ng, ng pi natin or yung function ng v natin is we have the 1 over 3 multiplied by e raised to 4x. And then gagamitin lang natin yung value ng u at yung value ng v based sa general solution natin. So we have here the y is equal to the ax b multiplied by the e raised to x, which is yung value ng u natin, plus one-third multiplied by the e raised to 4x, which is yung value ng v natin. Okay? And then, syempre, sabi natin, meron pa rin siyang um, boundary na given dun sa problem natin, which is yung x natin daw is equivalent sa zero, and yung value ng y natin is equivalent sa 2 over 3. Yung base doon sa solution natin or general solution natin is papalitan lang natin yung value natin. So we have the negative 2 over 3 is equal to 0 plus B raised, multiplied by E raised to 0 plus 1 third E raised to 0. Yung E raised to 0 natin is equivalent lang siya sa 1 and makukuha na natin yung value ng B natin. Therefore, yung value ng B natin is equal lang siya sa negative 1. And also, we have yung dun sa problem natin na ang first derivative daw is we have yung 4 and 1 third. Gagamitin lang ulit natin yung value natin based dun sa problem. Papalitan lang natin yung value. So, isimplify natin to. We have yung 13 over 3. Ito is same lang siya sa 4 and 1 third is equal to the b plus a plus yung 4 over 3 natin. Therefore, since naku, meron na tayong value ng b natin, which is yung negative 1, so substitute lang natin siya sa problem. And ang makukuha natin ditong value is yung a natin. Simplify lang natin yung problem and makukuha natin yung value natin, which is yung a natin is equal lang siya sa 4. And again, Based dun sa problem natin, kukunin lang natin yung general solution na sa substitute lang natin yung value ng A at saka yung B natin. Yung, yung value ng Y natin is equivalent sa AX plus B multiplied by E raised to X plus 1 third multiplied by E raised to 4X. And papalitan natin yung value ng A natin which is yung 4 and yung value natin ng B na negative 1. Therefore, we have y is equal to 4x minus 1 multiplied by the e raised to x plus 1 third multiplied by the e raised to 4x. Okay? So, ano lang to ay, correction lang to, 8.3 na to. Ito naman yung next natin na problem. So, last problem na natin to. 
medyo mabilis lang kasi wala naman wala naman kayo pang question. So ito yung last natin na problem. So solve the differential equation which we have the two multiplied by the second derivative minus yung first derivative natin minus 3y is equal to 5e raised to 2 third x. Medyo same lang naman din kasi yung solution natin kaya madali lang tandaan. Ang ang kailangan niyo lang tandaan dito is yung mga rules para madali kayo makapag-solve. Kasi di ba kung mapapansin nyo, yung solution naman natin is kailangan natin unang kunin yung de-operator form, auxiliary, tapos kailangan natin mag-factor out or gagamit tayo ng quadratic equation, tapos determine natin yung rules. Uh, I mean yung kung real number or difference siya, tapos hanapin natin kung saan siyang kategory para makuha natin yung function of u and yung next naman natin, yung v is based dun sa table natin. Okay, for, for this problem, we have here yung the operator form as 2d squared minus d minus 3, open and close parentheses, multiplied by y is equal to 5e raised to 3 over 2x. Then, kukunin natin yung auxiliary equation where we have the 2m squared minus m minus 3 is equal to 0. And next natin is mag-isip tayo ng number uh, para ma-factor out natin yung base dito sa equation natin. So, we have the 2m minus 3 multiplied by the m plus 1. And makukuha na natin yung value ng m natin which is we have the m is equal to 3 over 2 or or we have yung m is equal to 2, negative 1. And unlike dun sa first, uh, second problem natin, which is same lang yung value niya, dito naman is same sa number 1 natin, where we have yung same siya as real number, pero different yung value ng m natin. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin yung y natin is we have yung y is equal to a e raised to alpha x plus b multiplied by e raised to beta x where yung value ng alpha natin is yung 3 over 2 and yung value ng beta natin is negative 1. For the function of u or yung cf natin is equal siya sa u equals a e raised to 3 over 2 x plus yung b e raised to negative x. Then after natin makuha yung function ng u or yung cf natin, kukunin naman natin yung value ng v. Okay. For, for this value naman, uh, titignan ulit natin based dun sa table natin kung saan siya papasok kung, um, kung sa first case, sa second case. But for this problem, ito yung pumunta na case natin or sa table natin, dito siya, dito siya naging okay. Where we have yung value ng V natin is equal siya sa kx raised, multiplied by e raised to 3 over 2x. And then gagamitin natin to dun sa problem natin na 2d squared minus d minus 3 multiplied yung v natin is equal sa 5e raised to 3 over 2x. And then after nun, yung value ng v is papalitan natin into kx e raised to 3 over 2x. Then itong, itong value na to, yung value na pinalitan natin as v, yung kx multiplied by e raised to 3x Iyon yung multiply natin sa 2d squared sa negative d at sa 3 natin. Same with the other problem, so multiply natin siya. And for this problem kasi, we can use yung product rule natin. Ano ulit ang formula ng product rule natin kung magde-derive tayo? Where yung problem natin is we have yung u at yung v natin. Where yung we have yung medyo pangat lang yung ano ko ah d over na dx. Kaila pa mag-sulat. Dx natin ng u at ng v natin. Ayan. So ano ba yung magiging derivation natin for this problem? Yung gagamitin natin dito for the u natin is yung kx natin. And for the v natin is yung itong meron tayong e raised to 3 x 3 over 2x. So yung dito is formula natin is we have yung u u ba? Tapos multiply natin siya sa d over ng dx natin or yung first derivative natin ng value ng v. Tama? Plus yung v natin 
is multiply natin siya sa derivative ng u natin. Yan. Pagpasensyahan nyo na yung sulat ko. Okay, yan. So, for this problem, since yung mismong derivation na kailangan natin is different na siya dun sa first and second problem natin, dito is naka-product rule na tayo kasi meron na tayong value ng u which is yung value ng u natin is yung kx natin and yung value ng, u, ng v natin is we have yung e raised to 3 over 2x. So, gagamitin natin itong problem, nat I mean yung, yung rule natin na to for the derivation. Yung u natin is we have yung kx and then kukunin natin yung derivation ng v. So, ano ba ang derivation ng e raised to 3 over 2 natin? So, we have yung mismong value nito, yung constant natin sa exponent 3 over 2 and we have yung e raised to x natin. So, e raised to 3 over 2x plus yung v natin which is we have yung e raised to 3 over 3 over 2x and yung derivation ng u natin. Ang derivation natin ng u is k. Therefore, we have yung value ng k e raised to 3 over 2x multiplied by the open and close parenthesis of 3 over 2x plus 1 natin. So ito yung first derivative natin. And for the second derivative natin, galing lang siya dun sa first derivative natin, ide-derive lang ulit natin siya. Ide-derive natin yung kx e raised to 3 over 2x. Yan. Therefore, yung mismong problem natin is gagamit pa rin tayo dito ng um, gagamit pa rin tayo ng product rule kasi we have here yung value. Diba? Value pa rin siya. So, base dito. Gagamitin pa rin natin yung product rule natin. Therefore, we have here yung value value ng u which is we have yung k e raised to 3 over 2x and yung derivation ng v natin. Dito kasi is we have yung value nito as yung u natin diba? for the second derivative and itong value na to is magiging v natin. So Pag nag-derive na tayo, ayan na nga. So, u natin is k e raised to 3 over 2. Derivation nito is we have yung 3 over 2 plus yung value ng v natin is we have here yung 3 over 2x plus 1. And ide-derive natin itong value ng u where we have yung 3 over 2 k e raised to 3 over 2x. And then, simplify lang natin itong equation natin. Therefore, ang second derivative natin is k e raised to 3 over 2x multiplied by 9 over 4x plus 3. So, continuation lang dun sa problem natin. Ito na nga yun. Yung 2d squared minus, D minus 3 multiplied natin sa k x e raised to 3 over 2x. And then, based lang dun sa kinuha natin na value ng first derivative and second derivative. So, ito na yung magiging continuation natin. We have yung 2 and then for the second derivative, we have the k e raised to 3 over 2x multiplied by the 9x plus 3 minus yung first derivative na nakuha natin is we have yung k e raised to 3, 3 over 2x multiplied by the 3 over 2x plus 1 minus yung sa 3 natin, hindi na naman natin to i-derive, multiplied dun sa k e raised to 3 over 2x. And equal siya sa 5e e raised to 3 over x. Ayan. So, isi-simplify lang natin itong problem na to. So, therefore, ayan na siya. Para makuha naman natin yung value ng coefficient natin, ito na siya. So, we have yung 5k equals sa 5. From dun sa k natin is equal sa one natin. So, dito is based lang din naman doon sa table natin. Kagaya lang din naman doon sa problem ng number one and number two natin. Therefore, yung value ng pi natin is v is equal to k e raised to 3 over 2x or is simplify natin siya as x e raised to 3 over 2x. And same lang sa ibang problem after natin ma-determine yung value ng cf natin or yung function of u natin and yung pi natin for the function of v 
gagamitin natin yung general solution natin na we have yung y is equal to u plus v. Therefore, yung yung buong solution natin is we have yung y is equal to a e raised to 3 over 2x plus b e my raised to negative x which is ito yung value ng u natin. And for the v, we have the x e raised to 3 over 2x. Other for other references, kung hindi nyo pa nada-download to, pwede naman itong ma-download itong book na to. Yung simula sa problem or I mean yung for the other weeks natin, kung may mga examples tayo ng week 6, week 7 na homogeneous, and week 7 and week 8 natin. Nandito siya sa book ni John Bird. And may mga problem doon para mas makapag-practice kayo ng kung paano mag-solve ng problems na related sa second order natin. And also, meron naman tayo ng other materials, yung mga modules natin na nakalagay na. And kung gusto nyo, meron naman din tayo sa Khan Academy. Pero dito sa Khan Academy na to, meron tayong four videos. Pero related lang siya sa homogeneous Okay din naman tong panoorin yung sa homogeneous natin pero um, same lang din siya dun sa uh, problem natin na kailangan natin kunin yung D operator, yung auxiliary natin, yung pagpapactor natin. Pero hindi hindi pa dito included yung table na ginagamit natin for the complementary which is yung diniscuss natin for the non-homogeneous ng week 7 and week 7, week 8 which is yung ngayon natin diniscuss yung from problem number 1 na ginamit natin yung for dun sa table natin ng polynomial and hanggang sa problem number 3.